All right, here we go. A year and a half review on the Triumph Trident 660. Uh, back in the parking lot where I did my review like a year and a half ago when I first picked the bike up. And uh, we just uh, go over the bike after a year and a half. What I think, what's exciting, what's fun, what I don't like. All right, let's start with the pure funness of the bike. It's just really enjoyable to ride. I commute on it. I uh, go for trips on it. I just have a lot of fun times on it. <laughs> it's really good. And it's dirty because I haven't cleaned it. And I do ride it in the winter when it's warm enough, which is actually today. Here we are in February and it's six or seven degrees Celsius outside. Quite a nice day for riding. And um, anyways, back to uh, my excitement of riding the bike. Yes, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. It's uh, lightweight. It's uh, very responsive. Uh, great in the corners um, with the Michelin Road 5s on it. Just uh, beautiful to ride in the rain. Don't uh, have any any sort of nervousness or um, anxiousness about riding in the rain. The tires just throw up the water like it's just it's unbelievable. In fact they throw them up so much you really need to have like a rain gear on otherwise your whole back's going to get soaked. <laughs> and that's uh, that's the truth. So that's, that's good, that's what I like about that. Uh, I like how the bike looks. Uh, a lot of people ask me about the bike, about the color. Is it hard to keep the uh, matte black looking, I guess, shiny or clean? Can't really be shiny because it's matte. Um, no, not really. I bought this uh, bottle of um, matte black, matte, uh, matte cleaner and um, I've, I still got most of the bottle left. It's just really a few shots on the tank, just kind of wipe it, rub it in, and the tank just buffs up nicely and, and keeps that nice matte black to it. So that's not really a, a hard thing either, a hard thing to look after, which is pretty good. Um, again, like um, handling of the bike, uh, everything like this, it fits in nicely everywhere. That's always good. Now, as for things that would be on a dislike, well, the seat's pretty comfortable. And if you're just kind of riding or commuting in town or, or going on short trips, it, it's pretty good. I think I can last about two hours before I have to get off the bike and you just stretch and walk around because uh, my butt hurts. It just It's just sore. And it's not like it's from the riding position because the riding position I find is quite, quite up, at least for me, it's quite upright. Um, because uh, I'm six feet tall so it's not from that it's just um, I guess it's just because it's you know it, it just gets sore after a while so you get off it you know 10-15 minutes maybe go have a coffee come back and good for like another hour two hours so it, it it's just really just a not like it I mean it's obviously not a long touring bike it's not a it's not a tiger um, you know, it's not a, it's not a cruiser. Um, I think the Bonneville's probably have a better a better seat than this bike. <laughs> there could be a lot of them have better seats, but uh, it's adequate. Um, the other issue I had is I had um, I got the heated grips for the bike, and the um, I didn't really I, I don't know I, like I don't know like how heated grips should work on a motorcycle. I mean I know how they work on a snowmobile because I've been on a snowmobile heated grips and, and they're great. And the heated grips on this bike, the Triumph ones, never really were like the ones I've had on a on a Skidoo. But I figured it's a motorcycle, so maybe it's different. And they conked out September, October last year. Like you turn the bike on, you 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 put the heated grips on, you know, hot, medium, cold, and it's showing in the in the display dish, like the little square dish that they're on but there was no heat so i went back to the dealer and then it's just uh yeah they don't work and uh because they were dealer installed they're covered under the two-year warranty so i'm just uh, apparently waiting for parts uh i think the dealers probably got the grips in they just haven't called me for it they're just gonna wait for me to come in and get the valve adjustments done at 16,000 kilometers which is like about 3,000 kilometers away from where i'm at on the bike and that's pretty much the only thing. Um, 
you know, I, I, I don't think I really had any issues. It's just, just the heated grips and maybe the seat's a little uncomfortable. But other than that, like on a long ride, the seat's uncomfortable. Just booting it out today, it's fine. But uh, other than that, it, it's great. Like, it, it's just, it's a great bike. I think it'd be a great bike for beginners. Um, you could flick it in the rain mode if you don't want to, like, get full power kind of thing. Practice on that and then go go to road mode and, and you know, go crazy kind of thing. But, um yeah i think it's a really a really good uh beginner bike and even for like an older per an older like i'm older so uh we might be coming back a bolder person coming back in the motorcycling it's a really nice bike to uh to kind of get your feet wet before you know because it's not too big but it does have a, a lot of horsepower to it and the torque is really good because it's like it's kind of all the way through the range which is kind of nice you don't have to get to the top end to get all the torque you can you know uh, the torque's kind of low down and through the middle, so you know you can. If you're rolling out to a stoplight and you're still kind of in second, you can kind of keep it in second, and then you know, off you go. You don't have to go down to first and back up to second, because um, you know you don't stall out and it doesn't kind of rumble out. And uh, I guess that's about it. That's everything. Great bike, lots of fun. Looking forward to it getting a little warmer than it is today, but you know. Can't complain, six degrees is pretty good. Had some rain last Thursday, washed all that nasty salt off the road. So just out enjoying myself and thought I'd just stop in and give it a year and a half review. Thanks for watching.